You may have heard that there's very little value in hunting over scrapes and part of that comes from the fact there's been several studies done that shows that mature bucks are hesitant to visit scrapes during the daylight. In fact some studies with cameras at the scrapes have shown that as much as 80% or more of the activity at these scrapes by mature bucks takes place at night. Well there's something that these studies are missing and that's the fact that bucks do not like to expose themselves to open areas during the daylight. So if you just put a camera at a scrape and think about where most scrapes are at, especially primary scrapes, they're under an overhanging branch and they might be on a logging road or a two track, they might be on the edge of a field or in an open area where a buck just doesn't like to come to during the daylight. But a buck will still check those scrapes, particularly that last week of October here in the Midwest and across most of the Whitetails range up until the rut is really uh, running hard and they're chasing, they're not uh, checking scrapes as much. But there's about a two week period there where hunting over scrapes is really good. Here's the key, a buck will not actually walk up and approach that scrape unless there's something that intrigues him about that particular scrape. Bucks tend to circle downwind of the scrapes in cover whenever they can to check those scrapes then they'll do sort of a J hook when they'll approach the scrape if there's something actually in that scrape that attracts them. So if you really want to hunt over scrapes effectively the key to it is to put something in the scrape that attracts the buck or hunt downwind of it. Well I like to use a scrape dripper because it helps me get a picture of every single buck in that area day or night and then it also drips mostly during the daylight because as it warms up it drips more and as it cools off in the evenings the uh, pressure decreases inside the scrape dripper and you've got less dripping at night so in theory you should be able to somewhat program those deer to come to the scrapes in the daylight when it's warmer and there's pressure scent in the scrape. Okay so you can set up downwind uh, 30 to 50 yards of where the buck is going to circle it or you put something in the scrape. Now I use a curiosity scent sometimes uh, like Trails in 307. Uh, in the dripper itself I like to use a uh, doe and heat scent such as special golden estrus or um, another one is active scrape. You can also spray active scrape right in the scrape itself. These are ways to attract a buck that's going to come right into bow range during the rut and actually during the daylight. So don't get too caught up in the fact that the studies show that most bucks only visit scrapes under the cover of darkness. They're still visiting these scrapes, they're scent checking them and they'll approach them. They'll walk right up there and you'll get a shot if there's something in that scrape that attracts them right in front of you.